your God is your God because it requires your imagination to pretend that your God exists. You are trying to repeat the same thing again and again because your denial of the existence of God depends upon the basic argument that every believer has a separate God. I am repeating so many times that God is one. The same God who created me has created you. The difference between my and your attitude towards God is because I started to search my Creator with the feeling of responsibilities towards Him and His rights upon me and my gratitudes towards Him for giving me this efficient life, while you start with the prejudice that any acceptance of God will take away your freedom of thought and will harm your intellectual capabilities. This is not the case. To the contrary, a real understanding of God gives humans a sense of responsibility. It is not my God because it requires imagination to pretend that it exists. Yes you need to imagine God because it is God's right to implement the capability he has given you to accept his existence. Theory of gravity is the result of imagination power God has given us. And I am only interested in things that are evidently real whether I want to believe in them or not. God is a reality and to confirm his reality he sent messengers with clear sign to every nation and tribe. There wasn't any group of people who did not receive message from God and for a truth seeker there was never a lack of evidence even in vanishing God's scriptures. And it was God's mercy that he sent a new messenger in scripture whenever the older one became unimplementable. You dodged all my questions knowing why you could not answer them. Typical. I think it is me who should write this for you. You are still steam to my God, and your God, sidetracking and dodging all my replies that say, God is one? Will you not read the first three chapters of the last well-preserved scripture of God? The Quran.